This video was made possible by EA Game Changers and I want to give a big thank you to EA for allowing me to participate in this event. Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to my nifty netting, create a sim and build and buy overviews. So I'm combining the two since this is a stuff pack and I'm so excited to share everything with you guys. Oh my goodness, this stuff pack has got me so excited. I know it's just a small pack, but stuff packs like this that are just very cozy feeling, I personally really, really love. So we're just going to jump right into the create a sim items. I do have everything unlocked. So when you are knitting things, you will like unlock more stuff. So um, for example, if you're playing with a family and they don't have any knitting skill, you might see that some create sim items are locked. However, I do have everything unlocked so I can show you guys. But anyways, we have a family here and they're so super duper cute. We even got a little elder here, but knitting is for everyone. So we got all ages except for teenagers because I just felt like that wasn't necessary. <laughs> but we got two parents here. We got a child. We got a toddler. And yeah, so first and foremost, you guys, we have a new aspiration, which I'm really excited about. I like that they added an aspiration in there especially because there is a knitting skill. So this is Lady of the Knits. And then if you're a male sim, of course, it will say Lord of the Knits. So that is a new aspiration. Basically, it just says this sim has yarn running through their veins and will stop at nothing on her quest to craft the perfect knittable. So I think it's so cute. So that's a new aspiration. And then it just gives you the muser. So let's start off with the female hairs. And honestly, I was kind of happy with the amount because stuff packs sometimes don't don't really give you much hair. I mean, it's not a lot, but hey, we get some new hairdos and I feel like, I feel like they're, well, I mean, I guess they're not all different than ones we've had before, but like, for example, this one, I honestly really love it. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like this would be so cute on either mothers or elders. I don't know why it gives me that vibe. Like, for example, if we put it on this elder sim here, I think she's going to look so cute with it. I think it will be her hair. Look how adorable that is. I think it's adorable. <laughs> so it's just so cute. I love it. Actually looks really good on this sim. Not going to lie. Like, it really fits her. And I love how it like curls in the bottom. It reminds me of just like, like back in the day hair and I personally like it because you know I feel like it's just different than what we have even though it's not something I would like typically go for for all my sims I feel like I could actually get use of it like look how cute it is on her and of course you just got the normal swatches I'm probably not going to keep showing the swatches because you know we all know then we have this beautiful hair which guys this is very appreciated I feel like a lot of times they give us these textured hairs and it's just almost perfect but not completely. And then we always go for the custom content ones because we want the baby hairs. So here we go. Like, I like that. I'm glad it's there. It just adds, it adds, well, I guess it kind of adds a custom content feel, but I think that's because we're just used to seeing it in custom content, but it just kind of completes the hair in my opinion. I really love that. I feel like it just, if it wasn't there, the hair would still be amazing, but this just like ups it so much more. I don't know. Is that just me? I just really happy about it. I did see a lot of people happy about it though. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys feel that way. And of course, just, you know, the normal colors and the color of these do change a little bit, just not really just like silver and gold. So they're not like a bunch of different colors. Then we have this hair, which made a lot of people think that we were getting new hair swatches with the update, but that didn't happen. And the reason people thought that is because it seemed different. Usually we have this swatch here and it has the gray in it. Like for example, see, it has gray. This has gray. I um, mean, that's just the swatch. It's only that swatch. So people were like, oh, there's like a red hair with the gray. Interesting. But no, it's just the way the hair is. So I kind of wish we did get new hair swatches, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> okay. What, what the really? Yeah, eyebrows. Okay, there we go. So then we have this hair, which I think would look so cute on the males, which I will be showing you guys on the males. And then we have the same one as this, but with, without the gray, if you don't want that. All right. So I kind of want to put her in this, even though then they're going to have the same hair. I just think it's so cute on her. So I don't really care. She's going to wear it. <laughs> it just like fits her face shape. So I'm going to actually show the male hairs now. We're just going to do all the hairs first. So for the males, we kind of already have the ones I showed you. So um, I think my favorite one... Well, I actually really am a fan of this, to be honest. Yeah, I actually really like that. Yeah. 
I like how the hairlines are very different, if you guys can notice. I feel like that's super realistic. Um, a lot of times we just have the same hairline for a lot of hairs, which is not very realistic, especially with men. So this is nice. We have like a different hairline. So I think I'm going to actually put him in that. Then for the little kiddos, I was very excited. They also get these two hairs. So it does seem like they're going to be doing this now. We've seen it happen where they're giving the kids the hairs um, that the adults have. So that's really nice. Um, I'm going to quickly make you a male. And then they, of course, have these two hairs. So they look really great on kids too. I'm happy about that. All of these Sims look so cute with this hair. I don't want to put every single Sim with this hair, so I'm not going to do that for her. She looks really adorable with short hair. This is not the hair she had, but we're just going to put that on her. So moving on to toddlers, I don't believe they get any new hairs. So just to show you guys... Um, yeah, no new hairs for the toddlers. And then of course the elders have the same. So now that we've gotten the hair done, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you guys accessories. So don't mind all these. They're nothing. <laughs> they don't actually come with nifty anything, but this little hat does, and it is so cute. So, um, so the only thing I can't show you guys that I come to realize afterwards, which there is a cheat to unlock it, but every time I put in the cheat for some reason, it's not working. I don't know. It goes through, but then it doesn't actually like work. And my Sim has like, level 10 of knitting and I did all that so I don't know what's going on but if you guys watch my gameplay video you guys will see some more color swatches um so yeah I apologize for that but here's the new hat it's so cute as you guys can see there is more swatches really cute ones too but yeah I don't know it literally just says requires knitting skill at level one to craft and I put up their knitting skill it's like super weird and then there is a cheat where you can just you know, cheat it right off the bat and have everything unlocked. It actually was shown in the live stream as well. And for some reason, when I put in the cheat, it's just not working. So I don't know what's up with that, but if that happens to you guys, I don't know if it's an issue or what's going on there. But anyway, here's this hat. Um, so if you guys want to see like another swatch, definitely stay tuned for my gameplay video coming very soon. I'm going to knit as many things as I can anyway. And this kind of leaves something for you guys to discover as well, which of course is always nice, but at least you get to see the item. This is like freaking adorable. I love it so much. So there is nothing in the accessories here and I'm just going to keep this hat on her for now because she's looking adorable. And as for the clothing, so again, there's going to be some things where I can't show you swatches and then some things I can. So it just depends. Like for example, that we have this top here, which is so adorable and I can show you all the swatches because I believe this is not something you can knit, I don't think. Um, but nonetheless, I love it. I love how, I mean, obviously it looks knitted. It's just so cute. I love all the color swatches. There's ones for different vibes for everything. Like, you know, like this is giving me spring vibes, Easter stir all of that even this one kind of nah maybe not I don't know and then this one's just like I don't know this reminds me of well honestly this reminds me of spring too um but we, then we have some in here that kind of give me more fall vibes and like summery I don't know this top is just so cute it's like one of my favorites for sure then this doesn't come this doesn't come with the pack by the way I don't know why it's here and <laughs> it comes with stranger bill so then we have this cute little crop top which again I can show you guys all the swatches too so the flowers do change on it and I think it's just everything I love new crop tops in the game. I just love when they give us crop tops because I love crop tops. Your girl loves some crop tops. Leggings and crop tops. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next up, <laughs> we have this sweater. Now, obviously this is one you can knit and it is crazy. So we saw this in the trailer and it's just hilarious to me. <laughs> this is like the funniest thing ever. I don't know. I, I honestly love it, but obviously... I would knit it for fun and I'm pretty sure this sweater has like a curse on it or something that you can you can send it to sims and anyway I don't know if we're gonna get to see that in my gameplay video but I can try and it's just I wasn't expecting something like this then we have this cute sweater here with a scarf which these swatches are locked because you can knit this one so I will try to knit this as well in my gameplay video but it's really cute it looks really soft and cozy and I could see myself putting this on my male and female sims to be honest and then lastly this one also locked but there is some great swatches and this one I could see myself using more on my male sims again I really love it so I'm just gonna stick her probably in this to be honest we'll do the yellow one and I'm gonna take off 
copper hot and that's cute. All right. So now for the pants, which, oh my gosh, apparently they were very heavily voted for. Um, oh my gosh, you guys can't wait. I actually have to put this on here so you guys can see. Oh, that's cute as well. But anyway, these jeans, so these are the same. So technically we get one pair of jeans, but two different variations, but they are everything. I love them to death. They are like my new favorite jeans that are in the game. Um, I love the roll on the bottom. I love the colors. Like, oh, I love these pastel colors too. Like, they're just so good. I'm so happy they were voted for so much. I love the bell. I just love everything about it. So let me put that shirt back on her. And this is actually cute. I'm just going to do this. And then I don't believe we have anything in here. Actually, we have socks, which I'm so excited about. I keep forgetting that they're in Creative Sim and it's not like just for knitting. <laughs> I keep forgetting that every single thing we can knit like clothing wise is in creative sim um but again i can't go through the swatches but i will definitely be knitting some socks in my gameplay video and they're so cute like what i wasn't expecting this many socks so we got some like ankle ones then we got some really high ones and they all just have so many different swatches i'm gonna literally put her in these socks you guys <laughs> But just because I don't even think we're going to see them. And there is one new pair of boots for the ladies and they are perfection. I'm obsessed. Okay. I feel like the texture on them looks so good. Of course, I can pick the colors because they're boots, but they're just so cute. I'm obsessed with them. I love them so much, you guys. So I think that's everything as for create a sim um, female items. And then for the males or clothing, we have this here, which is so cute and cozy. And for this one, I can pick the swatches. So that's great. So you don't have to like unlock anything. Then we have this one, which you can also pick the swatches. I think this one no, I was going to say maybe it's my favorite, but actually I think this is my favorite. I don't know. They're all really nice. They're just cozy, like knitted pieces. This sweater again, <laughs> and this sweater again on the mills looks really, really great. And then this sweater. Yeah, I feel like this one, I can't select the swatches because we have to knit it, but, uh, and I mean, if the cheat was working for me, I don't know what's up with that, but, uh, I don't know what my favorite is. Like this looks really good on the mills too. I don't know what I love. I just, I love them all. I'm going to, I think I'm going to pick something though, where I can actually change the swatch so that we can just like pick something that we like. I'm going to put them in this white one here. And then as for pants, we actually have one new pair of pants, which is the same as the females. This one does not come with it. I don't know why it's there, <laughs> but we do get them for the mills too. And they actually look really cute on the mills as well. So that's nice. Um, then as for socks, we have the same socks. So yeah, they're just the same. And then for the shoes, we actually don't have any shoes. So let me just throw some shoes on them. I'm putting those same socks on him. So there we go. And then for the kiddos. Okay. So we get this cute little dress, which is what I'm going to show you guys first. And it's just so cute. We get this little dress here and it is so adorable. Look how cute it is. Look at that adorable so there's that and then i believe we yeah we get one new top here which i also really love i saw i think this was in the trailer we do have to knit it but there's some really cute swatches and i love the little stars and like the hearts right here the sweater it's like one of my new favorite kids sweaters for sure we don't get any new pants it's totally empty but yeah i do like what we did get and it's just super adorable so i'm gonna put her in that and then they actually do get those boots as well um i know this i mean you can definitely wear a dress with boots but I mean I feel like I need to like pair it with some leggings and stuff like that but we're not going to worry about it she's just going to wear this <laughs> so yeah this is super duper cute and for the little toddlers little cuties oh yeah we already went over the hair and they get this adorable the little girls this dress you guys I'm dying so we can just pick the swatches right and create a sim with no cheats or anything I'm obsessed with it I am so obsessed with it this is my new favorite little toddler dress <laughs> Um, it's just so cute. It is everything. I really like this swatch here. That's cute. And then little onesies. So this we can also knit. So, you know, we can't click on the different swatches, but I'll definitely try to knit some in my gameplay video. And guys, just by this one though, look at the little elephant. It's so adorable. I love it a lot. I love how there's little like stitches right here and there's no new pants. There is nothing there, nothing there. So that's what we have. Um, I believe for the male toddlers, they just have the onesie. Yes. So yeah, they just have the onesie. I'm going to put her in that and I'm pretty sure that's it. You guys, hopefully I didn't miss anything. Obviously the elders have like, oh yeah, we almost did forget something. This outfit. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so glad because I, I did see it when I was going through the stuff and 
then I totally forgot about it. So this one you do have to knit as well or just do the chi and hopefully it works for you. But this is adorable. I really love it. And honestly, I think it looks really good on elders. So there's that. And then of course they get the booties and I'm just going to actually... Well, I'm just going to put some like leggings on her. So yes, you guys, like I said, I think that is everything. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I did go over it beforehand and I'm pretty sure that was everything. All of this is not actually nifty knitting stuff. It's just showing there. But yes, so let's head in to build and buy. Okay, you guys, so here we are in build and buy and I've actually already placed everything down. So we're just going to take a look at everything and then I'll show you the color swatches. So I thought it would be better if I just laid everything out first. So first of all, we have all these different rocks walking chairs was just super nice so we have four different variations and of course they come in different colors which I will go over after we just look at everything and then we have this chair and couch that I'm obsessed with it is everything I feel like I've been wanting couches that look like this for so long I'm honestly really happy that this one won to be honest I don't even know if it's the one I voted for but I'm happy about it then we have guys I have to show you the little chalk designs afterwards but this is everything like you can make the cutest little hobby room seriously and then of course we have the amazing llamas in all the different colors <laughs> then we have another little desk which this one is amazing too out of these two i kind of prefer this one i think but technically i think this is a desk and this one's technically not I don't know, but either way, I just love everything. Like there's paint in there, there's yarn, there's books, just, oh, and then at the top. So I love this. This is clutter. Um, and it's just, I, I live for clutter. If you guys watch me, I live for clutter. And then you even have the yarn balls that you can place like literally all over your house and supposedly the kitties can play with them. Or I don't know if they play with the yarn that's in the basket or if you place this around if they'll play with it. I don't know. But then we have this beautiful desk, which I do have this clutter on it, which it might be my favorite clutter item. I just love the books with the yarn and the scissors and the measuring tape. And then like, there's like a little jar with buttons in it. I just really like that item. <laughs> then this does is perfection I would love to have this exact desk like I mean not for recording and stuff but like for hobbies it's just so cute I love this at the top and then we got some paint we have glue yarn we got um, buttons we have everything going on here I love this. Then this desk is also really cool. It has a bunch of that stuff too. I love this right here. The little fogs. We have a yarn basket. I'm just loving how detailed it all is. Um, and then here is the two yarn baskets that we do get, which I'm really glad that we get too. That was really nice because I know a lot of people wanted the one with the bunny, but then a lot of people also liked the ones that looked more just cozy like, whereas this is like a firm box I guess and so I'm glad we got both of those and then this oh my gosh I love this this reminds me of like I used to do planning and planning where like I would have like a planner where I put like a bunch of stickers in it and I'd have like different sticker sets for each week and I always would watch people do their like planner layouts for the week and they would have these things and I just love it. Also it, like really gives me Etsy vibes. Um, if you have like a little Etsy room, which would be plopsy um, in this case. So yeah, I love that. Then coming back over here. So I showed everything over here. Um, we also have these adorable mailboxes, you guys, these mailboxes, they are my new favorite mailbox. Like it is the cutest. I want to put them on all my houses, even though I'll match them all. So many different fun colors. Then we have these little poofs, which you can sit on. So that's nice. Another thing you might notice, which we'll go over in my gameplay video, you can just list on Plopsy, which is super cool. Anyway, they're so cute. I love just the knitted texture on them and everything. I love the colors. And then look at this. So this is like a knitted plant. Like it's not a real plant. Like look at that. I'm obsessed. So again, like so many cute colors. Then coming over here to the cuteness, so much cuteness. So of course we can knit these and they are so adorable. Like hello, little penguins, little bears, and they come in so many colors. And then this one's like a little panda. We got like a polar bear going on. And then these, these guys might be my favorite. The ones in the back. I don't know. They're just really cute. I want to put them all over my Sims bedrooms. We got the Grim Reapers. Look at all the cute colors, you guys. Then we have the Yarnies starting, which is so happy that, a yar that Yarny is appearing in the game. Also, the turtles. I gotta say, really love the turtles too. They're so cute. Like, oh my gosh. So there's those adorable. I can't wait to knit them. And then we have these 
beautiful rugs, which I need to use these in all of my houses because hello, they have all the colors. We got neutrals and fun. So you can literally make this match so many houses, but like, I'm just obsessed with the colorful ones. Like, look at that. I actually think this one's my favorite. I really like it. It's like pastel-y. I love the texture on it. Obviously it's been knitted and it's just everything. So I forgot to put lights in here. So let me quickly do that. If you guys didn't know with the update, we are, well, we got this light, which is basically the same as this light, except it's a tiny version, which is everything because everyone always sizes down, sizes down that light. And now we don't have to do that anymore. So that's really, really cool. Anyway, look at these plants. Hello. Okay. The amount we have here there's more than this i literally could not fit them all look at all the variations so basically like you know you have this height but then you have all of these plants in different heights like look at all these different heights i think it's so nice for different wall heights or just depending what you want i just really love them and they're like freaking adorable i think these are my favorite they're just so cute. So there's the plants. And then we have some stuff on the wall here. So these are really nice. Of course, you can put things in them and they actually come separately, which I will show you guys. And you can like stack them however you want to. I thought that was nice. And then we have this here, which is just for your little craft room, you know, adorable. This, which is like one of my favorite wall decorations. I think it's so nice. And this painting here with so cute little cats or a cat and a bird. <laughs> and it looks like it was like made, you know? And then, okay, this is my favorite wall thing, I think, actually. Um, like, hello. It has everything on it. The detail. I'm obsessed with it. We got notes over here. We got yarn. We have everything you need. And a little drawing of a dog. Gotta love it. And I'm just obsessed with that item. So, then we have, of course, like, the pre-made room that we get. And look how beautifully the items come together, you guys. I mean, how can you not love it? The items come together so nicely. I really, really like it. Here, Obviously, here's some of the other color swatches. Oh, this is one thing I forgot to place down but it's here so it doesn't matter this is the new door how cute i think it's just so cute so anyways now that we went over that i'll go over some of the color swatches actually like in this room to be honest so um some of the color swatches for this oh my god it's just beautiful okay the pack is like so cozy look at these color swatches they are to die for hello oh my gosh okay and then the color swatches for this which the little chalkboard drawing here changes and i love that about it I love it. I think it's so cute. See, sorry if it keeps, it keeps saying cute in this video, but like, honestly, what else can I say? Everything's cute. Okay. <laughs> so the yarn basket also just comes in so many colors. So that's nice. And then same with this, everything just comes in pretty much matching colors. And it's just very, honestly, it's pretty girly. Like, I feel like you could build a very girly house with these things. Look, this one has dolphins. So cute. So here's a little boxes that you can like stack however you want to. And obviously you can put things in there and these are the different colors. So there's that. Then the couch, of course, has the same color as the, um, chair there. So I really love this watch. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, then this table is not from the pack, of course, but we do have this that you can change the color of as well. So many cute colors. And here is the second yarn basket. Okay. And then this, which is just a great, like if you have like a smaller room and you can't fit the bigger one, this is a great, I really love that. That's pretty. Um, the rocking chair. Ah, it's like so good. We get so many different colors for it. So nice. Okay. And then, um, for this, which I'm like obsessed with, there is the best. Look at that. The buttons on the back. Oh my God. It is perfect. And the little picture at the bottom there does change. Okay. So, oh, and then the door. Oh, <laughs> so the door has super cute pastel -y colors. Look at this. I want to make like a cute little house. It's just, oh my gosh. It just has certain vibes that I'm obsessed with. It is great. So, um, anything else I need to show you the guy, show you guys the color swatches of, obviously you can see all the colors of this, this, a lot of things you can see all the color swatches of because they're things you can knit. So they're like all separate, same with the rugs and stuff, you know? Um, I think this, so here's color swatches for this one super cute. Um, I think that's it. You guys, obviously like, you know, this has color swatches too, just matches everything. 
and of course the yarn you can have like a bunch of different colors so I mean that's nice and I think that is it you guys so I think we get it we got a good amount of stuff for a stuff pack I just think all this stuff is adorable and the, honestly I kind of like the build and buy more than the create a sim um I I was actually thinking that when I saw the trailer I'm just like obsessed with all the build and buy I think they're everything finally we are done with this video so we got to do our notification fan corn fam shout out so this one goes to Mildred P thank you so much you are so freaking sweet I appreciate you and if you guys want a chance to be in a notification fan corn fam shout out all you got to do is comment down below on any video you can comment anything you want or you can comment some unicorn emojis and turn your notifications on so you guys with that being said if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and that's pretty much it so i'm gonna wrap this up here i hope you enjoyed if you guys are all having an amazing amazing day and don't forget to leave some positivity down below i love you guys all so so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys